It's sometimes hard to find code and tutorials that have already been written, and not accidentally reinvent the wheel in your code. Searching for how to make sensors more accurate will return a million results that might not be useful, but searching for common filtering for FTC might give you exactly what you need. We're going to talk about some of the most useful libraries and resources that have already been written in programming for FTC, as well as how to install these dependencies through Gradle in Android Studio. Game Manual Zero is a great place to start for really anything you want to do in FTC. It's an incredibly comprehensive guide to almost everything that assumes pretty much no knowledge, and it has a really good intro to software section. Something I found really useful this year, even though I'm in my second year of doing FTC, was their odometry article, because it has a ton of super in-depth information on what uh, poses are represented like mathematically, and even has some pseudocode that was super useful. Also, this is a programming video, but it's worth mentioning Game Manual Zero has an excellent section on hardware, and sections on awards, alliance selection, pretty much everything FTC. FTC Lib is a super helpful library that does a lot of really basic stuff and is documented in a really amazing way. It does things with drive bases, uh, game pads, even has some more advanced stuff like odometry that works really well. We used the FTC Lib odometry on the Wolfpack robot this year actually, and it goes really in depth and really helps you get started. It covers a lot of basics that you really need to do basic teleop control, like taking the raw data of whether or not a button has been pressed and turning that into an event that triggers once when a button is pressed. Since FTC Lib is the first library that we're talking about today, let's use it as an example of how to install a dependency through Gradle. First, we see that it wants us to add Maven Central to our list of repositories in our build.gradle file. We go there and we can actually see that Maven Central is already here, and it probably will be in your code. Next, we see it wants us to make sure that our min SDK version is set to 24 in build.common.gradle. And finally, we're going to make sure that our Java version is at 1.8 in build.common.gradle. Again, these things might already be set that way. Now, we are going to be going into our build.gradle for our team code module specifically, and adding a dependency implementation for FTC lib. What exactly does this line of code say? Here it tells the Gradle where to get this dependency from and what it's called. And here is where it tells it the version number, which is also where you would change the version number to update it. Now all we need to do is go up to the top right corner and this little button that says Sync Project with Gradle Files. Once we press that, it'll start downloading FTC lib, and then we can use the library. If you want to write custom vision code for FTC, Easy Open CV is a must-have. It lets you do easy object detection and tracking, but pretty much anything you want to. It's always applicable to any vision task. We used it for ring detection and for duct detection, as well as actually our auto-aim and ultimate goal. They have really detailed install instructions that will guide you through the basic setup and installation process of any Easy Open CV pipeline. The cool thing about Easy Open CV though is that it's based on Open CV or CV2, something you can program in Python, and there are a ton of resources for it online. FTC Dashboard lets you output stuff from your robot to your laptop you're coding on, such as live telemetry, change constants and variables as you're tuning, see graphs of telemetry values, and even see where your robot is on the board using your odometry values. For instance, here's a picture of our robot tuning its odometry while we output that live to FTC Dashboard. There's a really good getting started guide that walks you through all of the process of getting it basically up and running. And also, if you want, you can simply go to their GitHub page and fork it like you would the FTC SDK. Roadrunner is a must-have for generating and executing complex and honestly just cool-looking autonomous paths. It's super useful to write autos quickly and efficiently. Another really useful resource that goes along with it is Learn Roadrunner, an incredibly in-depth dive into things like odometry, dead wheels, drive constants, everything you need to know to get started. If you use these two resources together, it's really easy to get a super powerful, super efficient, and really just super reliable autonomous put together for your robot. Controlled FTC talks a ton about control theory in FTC, stuff like PID and making your sensors better. They have a great explanation of all the basics of PID, and I really like their explanation of Kalman filters, something that can make your sensors a lot more accurate. They have one of the best single-dimensional explanations of Kalman filters I've seen out there, not just in FTC, but on the internet. There's a great library that goes along with it called Homeostasis that basically implements pre-programmed code for a lot of the stuff it talks about. 
Photon is an awesome recently released FTC library that basically makes your code really, really fast. It also adds very good multi-threading features to the SDK. Finally, a plug for better sensors, a library we wrote currently in beta that adds some really useful features to sensors. All of the libraries and resources that we talked about today will be linked down in the description, and please add in the comments any good ones you know of that we missed. Thanks for watching.